There is a serious issue that has been plaguing us Breath of the Wild players since launch. It's a dog. Can I pet it? Can I pet it? Oh, can I pet? Can I pet the dog? Can I pet the dog? Why? Why can I not pet the dog? Let me pet the dog. Can I pet you? Please let me pet it. Look, does it like me? Please. If I can pet this dog, this is officially the best game ever. Oh, I can't pet him. How? No! In an interview by IGN, the top tier Zelda folks on the development team, Fujibayashi and AGI Enuma, were asked why the feature to pet our lovely Hyrule doggos wasn't implemented. One of the things they mentioned was Breath of the Wild's design philosophy. Simply put, their philosophy is that a single action should have multiple uses in the game. And this is why, out of all the things you can do and can't do with the dogs, you, for some reason, are able to feed them apples. What if I give an apple? You see, holding an item and throwing it is an action you can use in many different ways in the game. So, feeding the dogs with items align with the game's multi-use action philosophy. So, if you were to pet a dog, there should be a dedicated pet button that could do a lot of other things as well. Alright, so you would think that's the entire explanation, and that's the end of the video. But there's just one big problem. See if you can notice it in this portion of the interview. If it came down to something like petting a dog, we would actually have to put in a custom action just for petting a dog that couldn't really be used for anything else. Wait a minute, listen close. You know that sound? Oh. It's the oh. sweet, sweet oh. sound of contradiction! Okay, so what is the real reason they couldn't add a petting animation? I mean, it's not like we're asking for a whole new game mechanic. Imagine the ultimate showdown between Link and Ganon, resolved by a few belly boops and squidges behind the ears. No, the real reason is likely that adding a custom animation just for painting a dog and doing it properly simply would have taken too many resources. There is a reason why painting dogs in most other games is a very scripted feature, as having two different animated bodies consistently work with each other without looking weird isn't easy to do. That's why you can only do a simple animation to soothe the horse. That's why you just awkwardly stare at your Pokemon jumping up and down when you interact with it. I wouldn't call this little team lazy though. Nintendo simply considered the development time for a petting feature outweighed by the potential compared to what else they could be working on before a deadline that got moved twice. But they may have underrated the importance of petting a dog. So that's the reason why you can't pet the dog in Breath of the Wild. But with several years of development on the sequel, I'm sure we will be able to in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm sure. Right?